Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve this nice functional equation problem? We have f of 7 power x minus 1 equals 49 power of x. Are we interested to find only f of x when we have the exponent as a domain of this function? So I'll be solving this method, uh, this problem in two different ways. So let's consider the solutions for the first method. So for method one, we are given f of 7 power of x minus 1 equals 49 power of x. So first thing is, if I let the domain which is 7 power x minus 1 equals suppose I choose letter u then I want to get 49 from here what I will do first is let's say I add 1 to both sides so plus 1 minus 1 cancelled and here we have 7 power of x equals u plus 1 and since I need 49 and if you raise 7 power of 2 we get 49 so which means we have to raise both sides of this equation by 2 so here we have 7 power x all raised to power of 2 equals u plus 1 raised to power of 2 and then, by law of exponent, we can interchange the power of this. Instead of 7 power x all raised to power 2, you can still write it as 7 power of 2 all raised to power of x equals u plus 1 all raised to power of 2. And 7 raised to power of 2, it gives us 49 and this is 49 all raised to the power of x equals u plus 1 all raised to the power of 2. So let's come back to the given functions. This implies f of 7 power x minus 1, which equals 49 power of x, and 7 power of x minus 1. We let it to be equals u from the beginning. So here we have f of u equals while 49 raised to the power of x, we have it as u plus 1 and all raised to the power of 2. So where this u and the x both are members of real number. So therefore, instead of this u, I'm going to replace u with x. So replacing u with x, we have f of x equals x plus 1 all raised to the power of 2. And let's expand this out. So we have f of x equals x plus 1 raised to the power of 2. So when we expand this, we have x plus 1, we multiply it in 2 times. And here we have x multiplied by x, or we say x bracket x plus 1, then plus, we also take 1, bracket x plus 1. So all this equals f of x. Then we have f of x equals x multiplied by x, that is x squared plus x multiplied by 1, we have it as x plus 1 times x, that is x, plus 1 multiplied by 1, that is 1. So finally, we have f of x equals x to the power of 2 plus, we have x plus x, which is 2x, and a is plus 1. So here is the final answer for f of x, so we consider the first method. So I'll be solving this in another method, and this second method will be the best method. So let's get into it. 
In this second method, I'm going to be using form manipulations, as the first one was based on a substitution method. So let's try and form manipulate this. At this right hand side, which is 49 raised to the power x, I want to have everything here in terms of 7 power of x minus 1. So to do that, suppose I let again 7 power of x minus 1. If I let this one equals t, then let's take the square of both sides. So by squaring both sides, we have 7 power x minus 1 raised to the power of 2 equals t raised to the power of 2. And for conveniences, I will write t raised to the power of 2 equals 7 power x minus 1 all raised to the power of 2. So these are still equal. Then let's expand 7 power x minus 1. But we follow this formula. Note that if we have a minus b raised to the power of 2, so it's an identity of a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So where a is representing 7 power x, and b is 1. So here we have t raised to the power 2 equals, instead of a here, we are going to write it as 7 power x and all raised to the power of 2 minus, here we have 2 multiplied by a is still remain 7 power of x and b is multiplied by 1. Then plus b which is 1 raised to the power of 2. I uh, shouldn't forget that here which is t raised to the power of 2, is given as 7 power x minus 1 all raised to power 2 because the two sides are equal. So we're going to just try and replace t raised to power 2 instead of it, we have it as 7 power x minus 1, then all raised to power of 2. This equals, so 7 power x raised to power 2 is the same thing as 7 power 2 raised to power of x, then minus 2 multiplied by 7 power 1. So we don't need 1 here, plus 1 raised to the power 2, that gives us 1. And again, we have 7 power x minus 1, all raised to the power 2 equals 7 power 2, that is 49, then all raised to the power x minus 2 multiplied by 7 power x plus 1. I want to make 49 raised to the power x the subject of the formula, so I will transfer the whole of this to this side. As we have 49 power of x equals 7 power x minus 1 all raised to power 2 plus 2 multiplied by 7 power x minus 1. But at this stage, I want to cancel this and rewrite it in form of 7 power x minus 1. So here we are going to take 2 out and we write 7 power x minus 1 that we need. But initially it was minus 1. And here we have 2 times minus 1, that is minus 2. We have to add plus 1 to this. So after adding 1, then we come back to the function and we substitute everything back. So by substituting, we have f of 7 power x minus 1 equals, so instead of 49, we write it as 7 power x minus 1 raised to the power 2 plus 2 into bracket of 7 power x minus 1, then plus 1. So we can now replace every single 7 power x with x. So therefore we have f of x equals x squared plus 2x plus 1. So the same answer as the first one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next class. Never stop playing. Bye bye.